This lone cow has spent her morning traveling from the forest towards the stream. She has survived the onslaught of winter and can enjoy another season of summer. The female has separated herself from her herd and has stayed within the same area for the last week. An elk alone in the summer can only mean one thing. She has had her calf. Cavy season for the elk has started and the majority of the females have split off to tend to their newborns. After giving birth, the cow and her calf will stay together for two to three weeks before rejoining the main herd. By the time the pair rejoin the herd, the calves are fast enough to outrun most predators. Isolated together allows the two to recognize each other and bond. The female enjoys the fresh grazing on the banks of a river while her calf rests nearby, a classic summer scene. For now, they can enjoy the peace in each other's company. Everyone is fattening up for the coming winter and elk calves are a major source of protein for many predators during this time. Neonates are vulnerable to everything and the only thing protecting them is their mother. Both grizzly and black bears take a majority of calves, but other carnivores take their fair share. A pair of wolves have caught the scent of the mother and are trying to locate the calf. Fortunately for the calf, elk and other ungulate neonates have virtually no scent. If the calf stays perfectly still, it should be fine. Mother arrives and starts to chase off the predators. Risking her own life, she attacks and lures the wolves away from her calf. After an hour of cat and mouse, the wolves move off in search of an easier meal. With well, the wolves gone, the cow checks on her calf. The two share a tender moment together before they move off. Another day and another trial for survival. A pair are joined by two more members of their pack, strength in numbers. Working together increases their chances of securing a meal. With the elk spreading out, food's been hard to come by. A lone cow nervously stands her ground as the pack continues on. Somewhere in the long grass, they know there is a calf. Spreading out, the wolves scour the nearby area. The mother holds her ground, ignoring the wolves. Keeping calm will give her calf the best chance of survival.
One of the wolves enters a clump of long grass, and in an instant, the cow runs towards her calf's hiding spot. The other wolves right on her tail. The elk now has to desperately defend against four wolves. In these life and death battles, it's hard to choose a side. The determination of the wolves will pups to feed versus the power of the elk to defend her calf. The sheer strength and vigor of the cow and the speed and teamwork of the canines. For hundreds if not thousands of years, elk and wolves have coexisted like this. This is predator and prey at its finest. Two species in a fluid but deadly dance of survival. During the confusion, the light gray snatches the calf and its short life is sealed. As cruel as this may seem, one's life is sacrificed for another. This pack's pups will feed well tonight.